Easy Learning Japanese. Copyright HarperCollins Publishers, 2009. CD1, Track 1. Introduction. Welcome to Collins Easy Learning Japanese. This course is specifically designed to help you to ask for the things you're most likely to need when visiting Japan and to give you the skills to cope with situations you might find yourself in. It is different from other courses in that you'll also learn to understand the likely replies to your questions. You'll hear keywords and phrases used in dialogues between native speakers, so you'll learn not only how to say them, but how they are used in conversation. To help you remember what you learn, the course makes use of all the latest techniques in memory building, backed up by regular revision. Unlike some other courses, Easy Learning Japanese isn't just a collection of useful phrases to learn by rote. It allows you to practice them, gives you listening tips to help you to recognize what you hear, and tells you what to say when you don't understand and need help. Your course consists of three CDs with an accompanying booklet. Everything you need for learning is included on the CDs. At the beginning of each unit, you are introduced to your new keywords and phrases. You can listen to them and repeat them as many times as you like. You will be talked through each new vocabulary item and given handy hints on how to remember them. Then, you'll hear the new language used in short conversations. First, you will practice listening to help you to pick out the key words and phrases and understand the gist of the conversations. After that, you'll have a chance to try some of the phrases yourself. This step-by-step -step approach is designed to build your confidence in understanding and speaking. Revision of the key words and phrases is built into the course, with a review section at the end of each unit. At the end of each CD, there is also a more ichido one more time section, which reintroduces the keywords and phrases in each unit so that you can revise and check what you know and decide whether you need to go back and listen to any of it again. At the beginning of the first few units, and again at the beginning of each CD, there will be a section called Tuning into Japanese. These sections are there to switch your brain onto how Japanese sounds and to get you used to hearing it. If you're already feeling tuned in, then you can skip these tracks and move straight on to the new material. At times during the course, there will be sections after the review called Taking It Further. Taking It Further sections are an opportunity for you to try out some dialogues and to expand your vocabulary a little beyond the key structures covered in the unit. If you feel that you have enough to cope with already from the key words and phrases, then skip them for now. You can always come back to them later when you're feeling more confident. The accompanying booklet contains the key phrases and selected conversations for each unit, with translations for easy reference. It also gives learning tips, lots of cultural information, some extra vocabulary, and simple explanations of how Japanese works. You don't need to use the booklet, but it's there if you want it. So, let's get started. Track 2. Unit 1. Greetings. Key phrases. The first thing you're going to need to do is to say hello when you meet people. So your first keywords and phrases are all based around introductions. Listen carefully. Konnichiwa. Hello. San. Mr., Mrs. or Miss. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning. Hajimemashite. How do you do? Dozo. Yoroshiku. Pleased to meet you. Now let's look at the first three of these phrases one at a time. Let's start with hello. Konnichiwa. You're going to hear it three times. When you hear this sound, there will be a gap for you to repeat it. Konnichiwa. 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 Konnichiwa is a greeting used mainly in the late morning and in the afternoon, and it can be said to anyone. People often bow while saying konnichiwa to show their respect. Japanese is relatively easy to speak because any slight mispronunciation will not affect its meaning. If you find it difficult to remember this new word, try saying corn itchy wow quickly. Think of corns making your feet itchy when you say hello. Try it. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. When someone says konnichiwa to you, 
you should reply by saying konnichiwa back to them. Next, let's look at the word for Mr, Mrs or Miss, which is san. In Japanese, Mr, Mrs or Miss comes after the name. Listen to these two people greeting each other. Konnichiwa, Tanaka-san. Konnichiwa, Yamada-san. Listen to them again and see if you can pick out their names. Konnichiwa, Tanaka-san. Konnichiwa, Yamada-san. They were Mr. Tanaka and Mrs. Yamada. Practice it. San. San. Tanaka-san. Yamada-san. You can use san with someone's first or family name. It usually pays to err on the side of formality in Japan, however, so if in doubt, use family names. We are going to use family names throughout this course. Using san after someone's name is a sign of respect, so never use san with your own name. Now listen to these two and see if you can pick out their names. Konnichiwa, Suzuki-san. Konnichiwa, Honda-san. They were Suzuki-san, Mr. Suzuki, and Honda-san, Miss Honda. These may sound familiar to you because they are the names of some famous Japanese car manufacturers. Now let's learn how to say good morning in Japanese. The basic word is ohayo. It sounds a little like the name of the US state, Ohio, so this might help you to remember the word. Think of the US state of Ohio whenever you say good morning. Say it. Ohayo. 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 Listen to two friends greeting each other in the morning. Ohayo, Tanaka-san. Ohayo, Yamada-san. What they actually said was, Good morning, Mr. Tanaka, and good morning, Mrs. Yamada. These people are good friends, but when you talk to older people, or if you are in a formal or business situation, it's better to say, Ohayo gozaimasu, instead of just, Ohayo. Both mean good morning, but, Ohayo gozaimasu is more polite. Say it. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Now listen to these two business associates greeting each other in the morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Tanaka-san. Ohayo gozaimasu. Yamada-san. And when you say Ohayo gozaimasu, you can bow to show your respect to the person you're addressing. So, they were the first three key phrases. How did you go? If you're feeling ready, move on to track three to practice them some more. And after that, we'll look at the rest of the key phrases for this unit. Track three, unit one, listening and speaking. Listen to these people saying hello to Mr. Smith and to him responding. Konnichiwa, Smith-san. Konnichiwa. Yamada-san. Konnichiwa, Sumis-san. Konnichiwa, Honda-san. Did you notice the Japanese pronunciation of the name Smith? Smith. Japanese doesn't normally allow for double consonants like SM, SM. You usually need to put a vowel between them. Also, Japanese doesn't have a TH sound. In fact, there are a lot of English sounds that cannot be accommodated in Japanese, so when a Japanese person is saying your name, you can expect it to sound quite different. Now you be Mr. Smith. Mrs. Yamada is going to say hello to you. You're going to call her Yamada-san. Listen first. Konnichiwa, Smith-san. Konnichiwa, Yamada-san. Okay, it's your turn now. Mrs. Yamada speaks first. Konnichiwa. Sumis-san. Now you say hello to her. Try bowing when you say it. Konnichiwa, Yamada-san. Now Miss Honda is greeting you. 
but this time it's in the morning. Do you remember good morning in Japanese? You're calling each other by your family names, so let's use the more formal form, Ohayo gozaimasu. And you're going to call her Honda san. Listen first. Ohayo gozaimasu, Smith san. Ohayo gozaimasu, Honda san. Now it's your turn. Miss Honda speaks first. Ohayo gozaimasu, Smith san. Ohayou gozaimasu, Honda san. Remember, you've learned two ways of saying good morning. If you are greeting your close friends, you can just say Ohayou. And if you are talking to older people, or if you want to sound polite, you should say Ohayou gozaimasu. Mr., Mrs., and Miss are all san. And remember, san goes after the person's name. Well done! That was all about saying hello and good morning. The next track is about saying how do you do and pleased to meet you. Track 4, Unit 1, Key Phrases. How do you do is hajime mashite in Japanese. It literally means for the first time. So use it only when you meet people for the first time. Try it. Hajime mashite. Hajimemashite. When someone says Hajimemashite to you, say Hajimemashite back to them. Listen to these people saying Hajimemashite to each other. Yamada san, Hajimemashite. Tanaka san, Hajimemashite. Now imagine you are Mr. Smith. Mrs. Yamada says, How do you do to you? Smith san, hajimemashite. Say, How do you do to Mrs. Yamada? Start with her name, Yamada san. Try it. Yamada san, hajimemashite. Now say, How do you do to Miss Honda? She speaks first. Smith san, hajimemashite. Start with her name, Honda san. Honda san, hajimemashite. A phrase that is often used alongside hajimemashite is dozo yoroshiku, which means pleased to meet you. The literal meaning of dozo yoroshiku is please be nice to me. If someone says this phrase to you, it is polite to say it back to them. Try saying it. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Now imagine you are Mr. Smith again. Mrs. Yamada says, Pleased to meet you to you. Smith san, dozo yoroshiku. Say pleased to meet you to Mrs. Yamada. Start with her name, Yamada san. Try it. Yamada san, dozo yoroshiku. Now say, pleased to meet you to Miss Honda. She speaks first. Smith san, dozo yoroshiku. Start with her name, Honda san. Honda san, dozo yoroshiku. Now let's put all of that together. If you were greeting Mr. Tanaka for the first time, what would you say in Japanese? Remember, Mr. Tanaka is Tanaka san. How do you do is hajime mashite, and pleased to meet you is dozo yoroshiku. Try it step by step. Tanaka san. Hajime mashite. Dozo yoroshiku. And now all together. t 
田中さんはじめましてどうぞよろしく To which he would reply スミスさんはじめましてどうぞよろしく That's probably enough for the very first unit. Now you can check what you've learnt so far by going on to the review on track 5. Track 5, Unit 1, Review. You may not feel you've learnt much, but you've really learnt quite a lot. You know the greeting konnichiwa for late in the morning and afternoon, and ohayo gozaimasu for in the morning. And you know the casual morning greeting ohayo. You also know how do you do. Hajime mashite, and pleased to meet you. Dozo yoroshiku. You know that san means Mr., Mrs., or Miss. You know that it comes after the person's name and that it is used with either a first or family name, depending on the situation. Well done. Are you ready to move on? If you're feeling overwhelmed, take a break. But if you're ready for more, then let's get straight on with Unit 2. Track 6, Unit 2, Tuning in to Japanese. Before we meet your new keywords and phrases, let's just practice what you know already. Copy the pronunciation as closely as you can. You can say hello. Remember, Kon ichiwa. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. You can also say Good morning to your close friends and family. Remember the US state, Ohio? Ohio. Ohio. And if you want to say good morning more politely, you say Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio gozaimasu. If you want to say hello to Mr. Tanaka, You say, Konnichiwa, Tanaka san. Konnichiwa, Tanaka san. And a polite good morning to Mrs. Yamada would be, Ohayo gozaimasu, Yamada san. Ohayo gozaimasu, Yamada san. If you meet someone for the first time and want to say, How do you do? you say, Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. And finally, you also know, Pleased to meet you. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Can you remember most of that? Are you ready for some more? If you're still not quite sure, go back and listen to Unit 1 again. Track 7, Unit 2 Attracting Attention Key Phrases Until your Japanese is good enough for you to hold full conversations, it will be important for you to find people who can speak English to help you. Of course, you could just ask in English. But it's useful to know how to ask people in Japanese because, although they might not speak English themselves, they might understand what you are saying and be able to find someone who does. Here are your key words and phrases for Unit 2. Sumimasen. Excuse me. Or, sorry. Eigo ga wakarimasu ka? Do you understand English? Hai, wakarimasu. Yes. I understand. Iie, wakarimasen. No, I don't understand. Now let's look more carefully at each phrase. In Japanese, it is polite to say excuse me before asking questions. And excuse me is sumimasen. 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 Do you understand English? Is Ego ga wakarimasu ka? English is Ego. E for English and Go means language. 
it sounds a bit like eight go. Think of eight people going somewhere when you say English. Say it. Ego. 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 Wakarimasu means understand. Say it. Wakarimasu. 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 To make a question in Japanese, you add ka to the end of the sentence. It's like a spoken question mark. Nothing else has to change. It's easy. Try it. Wakarimasu ka? Wakarimasu ka? Wakarimasuka. Without the ka, the sentence wakarimas simply means understand. Adding the ka turns it into a question. Do you understand? Did you notice that there is no actual word for I or you here? In Japanese, you don't need to say words like I or you if it is obvious who or what is being talked about. To ask, do you understand English? You don't need the word for you, but you do need an extra Japanese word, ga, between ego and wakarimas. So it's ego ga wakarimas ka. Japanese often has these little words, which we call markers. Don't worry about them. Just try to learn them as part of the phrases. If you want to know more about markers, you can read about them in the booklet. Let's practice the whole phrase, do you understand English? 英語がわかりますか ?English が understand question try it 英語がわかりますか英語がわかりますか英語がわかりますか Before you ask a question It's polite to say, excuse me. So now you're going to say, excuse me, do you understand English? Can you remember how to say, excuse me? すみません. Then ask, do you understand English? 英語がわかりますか Now put it all together and you have, すみません. 英語がわかりますか Now you've asked the question, you'd better understand the answer. Here is the question again. And here are two different answers. はい、わかります。Yes, I understand. いいえ、わかりません。No, I don't understand. Did you hear the difference? The first difference is はい and いいえ。はい means yes and いいえ means no. はい sounds like the English greeting はい。Japanese people often nod when saying this. いいえ sounds a bit like the English word yeah, which is so opposed to its English meaning as to make it quite easy to remember. Try saying yes in Japanese with a nod. はい。はい。はい。Now say no. Shake your head when you say it. いいえ。いいえ。いいえ。The second difference is わかりますとわかりません。As you know, わかりますと means understand. When the last part ます becomes ません、it makes it negative. So わかりません is not understand. わかりません。わかりません。
わかりません。Some people might say sorry instead of no when they don't understand. And sorry in Japanese is sumimasen. Yes, you have met this word already. It also means excuse me. So, sumimasen has two meanings excuse me and sorry. And it is likely to mean sorry if someone says it apologetically. Try saying, sorry, I don't understand. Sumimasen, wakarimasen. Sumimasen, wakarimasen. Sumimasen, wakarimasen. Track 8, Unit 2, Listening and Speaking. Listen to these people. Do they speak English? すみません。英語がわかりますかいいえ、わかりません。No, he doesn't. He says, no, not understand. いいえ is no, and わかりません is not understand. So he can't help you. Let's try this lady. すみません。英語がわかりますかはい、わかります。Yes, she does. She says, yes, understand. はい is yes, and わかります is understand. Now, someone else approaches you and asks you a question. You'll need to know that 日本語 means Japanese. 日本 is Japan, and you already know 語 is language, as in 英語 English. So, Japan language, or Japanese, is Nihongo. Sumimasen, Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Excuse me, Japanese understand question, which means, do you understand Japanese? Well, not yet, so you'd better say, no, I don't understand. Try to answer. Say, no. Iie. And you don't need to say I, so just say not understand. Wakarimasen. Now put it all together. Iie, wakarimasen. Sumimasen, Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Answer again, but this time say sorry instead of no first. Remember, sorry is sumimasen. So you're going to say, Sumimasen, Wakarimasen. Did you get all that? That was quite a lot to take in. Japanese words seem rather long and bewildering at first, but don't worry. You'll soon begin to notice patterns, and then remembering them should become easier. Practice makes perfect. So let's move on to track 9 to review what you've learned. Track 9, Unit 2, Review. Listen to these phrases and think of what they mean in English. Sumimasen. Ego ga wakarimasu ka? Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Hai. Iie. Wakarimasu. Wakarimasen. And here is what they were saying. Sumimasen. Excuse me, or sorry. Ego ga wakarimasu ka? Do you understand English? Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Do you understand Japanese? Hai. Yes. Iie? No. Wakarimasu. I understand. Wakarimasen. I don't understand. And if you managed all that, it's time for you to take a break. Well done. Track 10, Unit 3, Tuning into Japanese. Before we start, let's make sure you've tuned your ear into Japanese. One of the most difficult things in any new language is learning to listen. We're all so good at our own languages that we can fill in a lot of words without actually having to listen to them. So we don't listen properly because we don't need to. Did you know that when we speak to someone on the phone, only a part of what is said is transmitted to our ear? And our brain fills in the rest? Unfortunately, 
We can't do that with a new language, so we have to listen to everything. And at first, it all seems to run together. The best thing to do is to listen and listen and listen until you start to be able to pick words and phrases out of the flood of language. You know all these words and phrases, so think of what they mean as you hear them. おはようございます。はじめまして。どうぞよろしく。すみません。英語がわかりますかはい、わかります。いいえ、わかりません。And they meant おはようございます。Good morning. はじめまして。How do you do? どうぞよろしく。Pleased to meet you. すみません。Excuse me. Or, sorry. 英語がわかりますか Do you understand English? はい、わかります。Yes, I understand. いいえ、わかりません。No, I don't understand. Not sure of some of the words and phrases? Listen to this track again until they are all sounding familiar and you can understand them without too much difficulty. Ready for some more? Go on to track 11. Track 11, Unit 3, Nationalities. Key Phrases. When visiting Japan, people are likely to be interested in where you're from. So let's learn some key phrases so you can tell them. Watashi. I. Igiris. The UK. Jin. Person. Des. Is, am, or are. 私はイギリス人です。I'm British. スミスさんはイギリス人ですか ?Mr. Smith, are you British? はい、そうです。Yes, that's right. いいえ、違います。No, that's incorrect. To say what nationality you are, you use the name of your country and add the little word 人 which means person. For instance, the Japanese word for the UK is イギリス。So, UK person or British will be イギリス人。The USA is アメリカ in Japanese. So, USA person or American is アメリカ人。As we mentioned in Unit 1, many English names and words adopted into Japanese will sound a little different. So, when you're repeating them, try to say them the Japanese way. Try it. First, let's say British. イギリス人イギリス人イギリス人 Next is American. アメリカ人アメリカ人アメリカ人 Now, how about some other nationalities? Australia is Australia. So, Australian is Australia Jin. Australia Jin. Australia Jin. Canada is easy. It's Canada. And Canadian is Canada Jin. カナダ人。カナダ人。New Zealand is quite a difficult word for the Japanese to say. It's New Zealand. And a New Zealander is New Zealand 人。New Zealand 人。Now, how about Irish? Ireland is Ireland. So, yes, Irish is Ireland. Say it. Ireland. 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 To say I'm British in Japanese, you say, Watashi wa Igirisu jin des. Watashi is I. Igirisu jin is British. And des means is, am or are. So you literally say, 
I British am. Watashi wa igirisu jin desu. You might have noticed the little word wa, which crept in after watashi. Wa is a marker like the ga in ego ga wakarimasu ka? To find out more about wa and ga, look in the booklet. But for now, all you need to know is that wa tells you the topic being talked about. And if the topic is yourself, then you'll say watashi wa. Watashi wa. Watashi wa. Say British am. Igirisu jin desu. Igirisu jin desu. And now all together, Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Now let's learn how to ask questions. Do you remember how to ask, do you speak English? That's right, it's Eigo ga wakarimasu ka? The ka at the end of the sentence turns it into a question. So, to ask someone if they are British, you say, Igirisu jin desu ka? Remember that in Japanese, it is rare to use the word for you. So you don't actually say, are you British? If it is clear who the question is directed at, it can be left out entirely, as it was in Eigo ga wakarimasu ka? English understand. And if it's not entirely clear, use the person's name. So, when asking Mr. Smith if he's British, the literal question will be, Mr. Smith British is? It may seem a little odd to begin with, having someone use your name when talking directly to you, but you'll soon get used to it. So suppose you are Mr. Smith, and Mrs. Yamada asks you whether you are British or not. She asks, Mr. Smith British is, question. Smith-san wa Igirisu-jin desu ka? Now you've been asked the question, if you are British, you need to say yes in Japanese. Remember, it sounds similar to the English greeting hi. Say it, hai. hi. 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 Then you can say, I am British. Remember, I is watashi. Follow it with wa, then British is igirisujin, and am is des. Try it. Watashi wa igirisujin des. Watashi wa igirisujin des. And put it all together. Hi, Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. And if you don't want to say all of that, you can simply answer so desu. So desu means that's right. It's a very useful phrase because it can be used as a response to lots of different questions. Say, yes, that's right. Hi, so desu. Hai, so des. But what if you aren't British? Then you need to say, no, that's incorrect. No in Japanese is iie, and incorrect is chigaimas. Say it, chigaimas. Chigaimas. And together, iie chigaimasu. Iie chigaimasu. Iie chigaimasu. Had enough for now? Then take a break. Ready for some more? Then let's go on to track 12 to put what you've learned into practice. Track 12. Unit 3. Listening and Speaking Here are Miss Honda and Mr. Smith. Where is Mr. Smith from? Konnichiwa, 
スミスさんこんにちは本田さんすみませんスミスさんはイギリス人ですかはいそうです So Mr. Smith is British Now Mrs. Yamada is asking Miss Green where she's from こんにちはグリーンさんこんにちは山田さんすみませんグリーンさんはイギリス人ですかいいえ私はアメリカ人です Miss Green is American, not British Now Mr. Suzuki is asking Mrs. Taylor where she's from こんにちはテイラーさんこんにちは鈴木さんテイラーさんはカナダ人ですかいいえ違います私はアイルランド人です So Mrs. Taylor isn't Canadian, she's Irish. Now you say your nationality. Start with Watashi wa. If you're British, you should have said Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Say your nationality again. You want to ask Mr. Tanaka if he's Japanese. Firstly, how do you say Japanese? You already know a word for Japanese, but that's Japan language, Nihongo. Nihon is Japan and Go is language. Instead of Japan language, we want to say Japan person. So take off the Go and add Jin, Nihonjin. Say it, Nihonjin. Now ask. Mr. Tanaka, Japanese is question. Tanaka san wa Nihonjin desu ka? Tanaka san wa Nihonjin desu ka? Say yes, that's right. Yes is hai. That's right is so desu. Put it together. Hai, so desu. How about no, incorrect? No is iie. And incorrect is chigaimasu. Put it together. Iie, chigaimasu. Do you need to go over that again? There are quite a lot of new words. The next track will review what you've just learnt, so move on if you're ready. And after the review, you can try taking it further with some dialogue practice and extra vocab if you want to. But don't worry, you can always skip it or come back to it later on. Track 13, Unit 3, Review. Can you remember what each of these phrases means? Watashi. I. Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. I'm British. Smith san wa Igirisu jin desu ka? Mr. Smith, are you British? Hai, so desu. Yes, that's right. Iie, chigaimasu. No, that's incorrect. Now see if you can say the Japanese for each of them. I. Watashi. I'm British. Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Mr. Smith, are you British? Smith san wa Igirisu jin desu ka? Yes, that's right. Hai, so desu. No, that's incorrect. Iie, chigaimasu. If you knew all of that, then you're ready to move on to the next track and try out some dialogues. If you are still unsure of some of it, then take a break and when you're ready, go back and listen to Unit 3 once more. Remember, practice makes perfect. Track 14, Unit 3, Taking It Further. Dialogue 1. Listen to Mr. Brown and Mrs. Yamada greeting each other. Don't expect to be able to pick out all the words the first time, but see how much you can understand. Konnichiwa, Brown san. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. 
。すみません、ブラウンさんはニュージーランド人ですかはい、私はニュージーランド人です。そうですか。Let's hear that dialogue again, step by step. こんにちは、ブラウンさん。こんにちは、山田さん。Mrs. Yamada and Mr. Brown greet each other. Remember, さん can be used for Mr., Mrs. or Miss. Next, Mrs. Yamada says, すみません。It's always polite to say excuse me before asking a question. Then Mrs. Yamada asks, Brown さんはニュージーランド人ですか Mr. Brown, New Zealand person is, question. Or, Mr. Brown, are you a New Zealander? And he replies, はい、私はニュージーランド人です。Yes, I am a New Zealander. Then Mrs. Yamada uses a new phrase. そうですか。You already know そうです as in はいそうです。Yes, that's right. The か on the end turns it into a question. So そうですか means is that right? But here か isn't really questioning. It goes down at the end. This is because it's just an acknowledgement to show interest in what the other person has told you. It's a rhetorical question like is that so? Really? Or even, oh, I see. No answer is expected. This is a very useful expression, and you will hear it a lot. Say, is that right? So desu ka? Say it again and think of what it means as you say it. So desu ka? So desu ka? So desu ka? Next, you're going to take part in the dialogue. So, do you want to listen one more time? You're going to be Mr. Brown first, and then you're going to do it again and be Mrs. Yamada. Listen carefully. Konnichiwa, Brown san. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. Sumimasen, Brown san wa New Zealand jin desu ka? Hai, watashi wa New Zealand jin desu. So desu ka. Now it's your turn to take Mr. Brown's part. Konnichiwa, Brown san. Say, Hello, Mrs. Yamada. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. Sumimasen, Brown san wa New Zealand jin desu ka? Say, Yes, I am a New Zealander. Remember, yes is hai and I is watashi. Hai, watashi wa New Zealand jin desu. So desu ka. Now take Mrs. Yamada's part. You start the conversation by saying, Hello, Mr. Brown. Konnichiwa, Brown san. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. Say, Excuse me, Mr. Brown, are you a New Zealander? Sumimasen. ブラウンさんはニュージーランド人ですかはい、私はニュージーランド人です。Say, is that right? そうですか。Track 15, Unit 3, Taking It Further, Dialogue 2. Let's listen to another dialogue, this time between Mr. Smith and Miss Honda. こんにちは、スミスさん。こんにちは、ホンダさん。すみません。スミスさんはオーストラリア人ですかい,いえ、違います。私はイギリス人です。ホンダさんは私は日本人です。そうですか。Let's hear that dialogue again, step by step. こんにちは、スミスさん。こんにちは、ホンダさん。They say hello to one another. Then Miss Honda asks, すみません。スミスさんはオーストラリア人ですか ?Excuse me, Mr. Smith, are you Australian? And he replies, いいえ、違います。私はイギリス人です。いいえ、is no。違います、is incorrect。私、is I。イギリス人、means British。and des、means am。So Mr. Smith replied, no, that's incorrect. I'm British. And then he adds, Honda san wa? A person's name followed by a questioning wa 
means, and you? Remember that Japanese people avoid using the word you, and they usually use the person's name instead. So where we would ask, and you, the Japanese say, and Miss Honda, Honda-san wa? Honda-san wa? And Miss Honda replies, Watashi wa Nihonjin desu. I Japan person am, or I'm Japanese. Watashi wa Nihonjin desu. To which Mr. Smith responds, So desu ka? Which means, Is that right? Now listen again. Konnichiwa, Smith san. Konnichiwa, Honda san. Sumimasen, Smith san wa Australia jin desu ka? いいえ、違います。私はイギリス人です。ホンダさんは私は日本人です。そうですか。Let's practice the dialogue. You're going to be Mr. Smith. こんにちは、スミスさん。Say, hello, Miss Honda. こんにちは、ホンダさん。すみません、スミスさんはオーストラリア人ですか? Say, no, that's incorrect. Remember, no sounds like the English word yeah. いいえ、違います。Say, I'm British. Remember, I is watashi, and don't forget the wa. Now ask, and you, Miss Honda? Honda-san-wa? And to acknowledge her response, say, Is that right? Let your voice drop on the ka. そうですか? And that's it. You've made it through your first taking it further. Whenever you're ready for some more, move on to Unit 4, where you'll learn how to talk about your job. Track 16, Unit 4. Occupations. Key phrases. Whether you are in Japan for business or pleasure, people will probably be interested in your occupation. Here are some key phrases. Kaishain. Company employee. Watashi wa kaishain desu. I'm a company employee. Collins no kaishain. A Collins employee. Watashi wa I'm a Collins employee. Smith-san-wa-kaishain-desu-ka? Mr. Smith, are you a company employee? And here are some other common professions. You'll also find a few more listed in the booklet if you want to have a look. Gakse Student Kyoshi Teacher Koumuin Civil servant Engineer of course, that's an engineer. Now, can you remember how to say your nationality? Start with Watashi wa. If you are British, you should have said Watashi wa Igirisu jin desu. Using the same structure, you can also say your occupation. Just replace your nationality with your job. Easy. So suppose you are a company employee. What do you say? You start with I, watashi wa, and then say company employee, kaishain, and finally am, des. Watashi wa kaishain des. Try it. Watashi wa kaishain des. Watashi wa kaishain des. Now let's try saying I'm a student. Student is Gakse. And teacher is Kyoshi. Kyoshi. 
How about a civil servant? Komuin. Komuin. Watashi wa Komuin des. Now this one sounds very similar to English. Engineer. Say engineer, but make sure you say it the Japanese way. Engineer. If you want to give some more information, such as which company you work for, you say the company name before Kaishain and put the little word no between them. For example, a Collins employee is Korinzu no Kaishain. Let's practice. Collins employee is Korinzu no Kaishain. How about saying you're an English teacher? English, Ego, provides more information about what kind of teacher or Kyoshi you are. So put Ego in front of Kyoshi and add a no between them. Ego no. Try it. Ego no kyoshi. Ego no kyoshi. Watashi wa ego no kyoshi des. Now let's learn how to ask and answer questions about people's jobs. You know how easy it is to make a question, you just add the question mark ka to the end of the sentence. And you know how to use the name of the person you're talking to rather than you. Suppose you are Mr. Smith and someone asks you if you're a company employee. They'd ask, Smith san wa kaishain desu ka? Try it. Smith san wa kaishain desu ka? To answer, Yes, that's right. Start with hai, meaning yes, and then add so desu. That's right. Say it. Hai, so desu. Hai, so desu. But if you aren't a company employee, you can say, no, that's incorrect. Iie, chigaimasu. Here is the question again. Say that you're not. Track 17, Unit 4, Listening and Speaking. Listen to this conversation. Can you tell what Mr. Smith does for a living? Konnichiwa, Smith san. こんにちは、山田さん。スミスさんは会社員ですか?はい、そうです。So, Mr. Smith works for a company. What about these two? こんにちは、グリーンさん。こんにちは、山田さん。グリーンさんは学生ですかいいえ、違います。私は公務員です。山田さんは私はエンジニアです。So, Miss Green isn't a student, she's a civil servant. And Mrs. Yamada? She's an engineer. Now, Miss Honda and Mr. Suzuki are talking about their occupations. Listen to what they say. Sumimasen, Suzuki san wa Collins no kaisha in desu ka? Iie, chigaimasu. Watashi wa eigo no kyoshi desu. Sou desu ka? Miss Honda asked Mr. Suzuki whether he was a Collins employee. His answer was, No, that's incorrect. I'm an English teacher. Now, imagine you're Mr. Smith. Mrs. Yamada is going to ask you a question. すみません。スミスさんは英語の教師ですか？First say yes, that's right. はい、そうです。Now say no, that's incorrect. いいえ、違います。And tell her what you actually do for a living. 
You could have said, Well done. Now it's time to review what you've learned in Unit 4. Can you remember it all? Move on to track 18 to find out. Track 18, Unit 4, Review. Listen to these words and phrases and think of what they mean. こんにちは。私は会社員です。私はコリンズの会社員です。田中さんは会社員ですかはい、そうです。いいえ、違います。そうですか。山田さんは And here is what they were saying. こんにちは。Hello. 私は会社員です。I'm a company employee. 私はコリンズの会社員です。I'm a Collins employee. 田中さんは会社員ですか Mr. Tanaka, are you a company employee? はい、そうです。Yes, that's right. いいえ、違います。No, that's incorrect. そうですか。Is that right? 山田さんは And you, Mrs. Yamada? And that's the end of Unit 4. How did you do? If you found you were making mistakes, it might be an idea to take a break and then go over the unit again. But if you're ready for more, then why not move on to the next section, Mo Ichido, where we will review everything you've learnt on this CD. Or you can move straight on to CD2, where we'll be looking at travelling and buying tickets. Track 19 Mo Ichido. Mo Ichido means one more time. This section gives you the opportunity to listen to all the key words and phrases in units 1 to 4 once more and to practice the dialogues without all the step by step explanations. Unit 1 Greetings Key Phrases Listen and think of what the following words and phrases mean. Konnichiwa San Tanaka san Ohayo Ohayo gozaimasu はじめまして。どうぞよろしく。Can you put them back into Japanese? Hello. こんにちは。Mr, Mrs or Miss? さん。Mr. 田中。田中さん。Good morning. First, say it to a good friend. おはよう。And now say it more politely. おはようございます。How do you do? はじめまして。Pleased to meet you. どうぞよろしく。Track 20もう一度 Unit 1 Dialogues. Dialogue 1. Listen to the following dialogue and then play your part. Konnichiwa, Smith san. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. Your turn. You be Mr. Smith. Konnichiwa, Smith san. Say hello to Mrs. Yamada. Konnichiwa, Yamada san. Dialogue 2. Listen. おはようございます、スミスさん。おはようございます、ホンダさん。Now it's your turn. You're Mr. Smith again. おはようございます、スミスさん。Say good morning to Miss Honda. おはようございます、ホンダさん。Dialogue 3. Listen first. スミスさん、はじめまして。山田さん、はじめまして。Now take Mr. Smith's part in the dialogue. Smith さん、はじめまして。Say how do you do to Mrs. Yamada. Yamada さん、はじめまして。Dialogue 4. Listen. Smith さん、どうぞよろしく。Honda さん、どうぞよろしく。And now you be Mr. Smith again. Smith さん、どうぞよろしく。Say, pleased to meet you to Miss Honda. Honda さん、どうぞよろしく。Track 21. もう一度
Unit 2. Attracting attention. Key phrases. Listen and think of what these mean. すみません。英語がわかりますかはい、わかります。いいえ、わかりません。Now see if you can put them back into Japanese. Excuse me or sorry. すみません。Do you understand English? 英語がわかりますか Yes, I understand. はい、わかります。No, I don't understand. いいえ、わかりません。Track 22もう一度 Unit 2 Dialogues Dialogue 1 Listen すみません、英語がわかりますかはい、わかります。Your turn. Say, excuse me. すみません。Then ask if he understands English. 英語がわかりますか Now put it together. すみません。英語がわかりますかはい、わかります。Dialogue 2 Listen A man asks whether you understand Japanese すみません、日本語がわかりますかすみません、わかりません。Your turn すみません、日本語がわかりますか Say, sorry すみません Say, Not understand. わかりません。And say it all together? すみません。わかりません。Track 23. もう一度。Unit 3. Nationalities. Key phrases. Do you remember what these phrases mean? 私はイギリス人です。スミスさんはイギリス人ですかはい、そうです。いいえ、違います。And here are some extra phrases from the taking it further section. Can you think of what they mean? 田中さんはそうですか。Now you say them. First say, I'm British. 私はイギリス人です。Now ask, Mr. Smith, are you British? Smith さんはイギリス人ですか Yes, that's right. はい、そうです。No, that's incorrect. いいえ、違います。And you, Mr. Tanaka? 田中さんは Is that right? そうですか。Track 24もう一度 Unit 3 Dialogues Dialogue 1 Listen こんにちは、ブラウンさん。こんにちは、山田さん。すみません、ブラウンさんはニュージーランド人ですかはい、私はニュージーランド人です。そうですか。Your turn. Say hello to Mr. Brown. こんにちは、ブラウンさん。こんにちは、山田さん。Say, excuse me, Mr. Brown, are you a New Zealander? すみません、ブラウンさんはニュージーランド人ですかはい、私はニュージーランド人です。Say, is that right? そうですか。Dialogue 2 Listen こんにちは、スミスさん。こんにちは、ホンダさん。すみません、スミスさんはオーストラリア人ですかいいえ、違います。私はイギリス人です。ホンダさんは私は日本人です。そうですか。Your turn.You be Mr. Smith. 
こんにちは、スミスさん。Say hello to Miss Honda. こんにちは、ホンダさん。すみません、スミスさんはオーストラリア人ですか Say no, that's incorrect. いいえ、違います。Tell her that you're English. 私はイギリス人です。Now ask, and you, Miss Honda? ホンダさんは私は日本人です。Say, is that right? そうですか。Track 25. もう一度。Unit 4. Occupations. Key phrases. Listen to the following phrases. Think of what they mean. 私は会社員です。私はコリンズの会社員です。私は英語の教師です。スミスさんは会社員ですかはい、そうです。いいえ、違います。Now you say them. I'm a company employee. 私は会社員です。I'm a Collins employee. 私はコリンズの会社員です。I'm an English teacher. 私は英語の教師です。Mr. Smith, are you a company employee? スミスさんは会社員ですか Yes, that's right. はい、そうです。No, that's incorrect. いいえ、違います。Track 26. もう一度。Unit 4. Dialogues. Dialogue 1. Listen. こんにちは、スミスさん。こんにちは、山田さん。スミスさんは会社員ですかはい、そうです。Now it's your turn. こんにちは、スミスさん。Say hello to Mrs. 山田。こんにちは、山田さん。スミスさんは会社員ですか Tell her, yes, that's right. はい、そうです。Dialogue two. Listen carefully. こんにちは、グリーンさん。こんにちは、山田さん。グリーンさんは学生ですかい,いえ、違います。私は公務員です。山田さんは私はエンジニアです。Now you be Miss Green. こんにちは、グリーンさん。Say hello to Mrs. 山田。こんにちは、山田さん。グリーンさんは学生ですか Say, No, that's incorrect. I'm a civil servant. いいえ、違います。私は公務員です。Ask her, and you? 山田さんは私はエンジニアです。Dialogue 3. Listen. すみません。鈴木さんはコリンズの会社員ですかいいえ、違います。私は英語の教師です。そうですか。Your turn. Ask Mr. Suzuki if he works for Collins. Start with すみません。すみません。鈴木さんはコリンズの会社員ですかいいえ、違います。私は英語の教師です。Say, is that right? そうですか。And that's the end of CD1. If you're still unsure of anything, take a break and then review these four units again. You can never go over the material too many times. Whenever you're ready, let's go on to Unit 5 on CD2 where you will learn how to talk about your travel plans. Bye for now.